<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I am back with another haul. My bank account literally hates me. Sorry. I'm in a few beauty groups on Facebook and I saw that TK Maxx had a lot of really good brand stuff in. Like normally they do, but like this was like next level. Like I saw Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff in some of them, you know, Cover FX and some other ones. So I was like, I need to jump on them deals and on them deals I did jump. When I was in the shop I almost spent £100 on makeup. I did have to put away like £40 worth of product, one of which was a really pretty Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick and I'm so heartbroken that I don't have it in my collection anymore. Well, I never did but I don't at all. <laughs> like there was a prospect that I would have but now I I just don't. But yeah, I thought that I would show you guys what I got for the whole 60 odd pounds that I did spend. Mm. So yeah, I'll just jump right into the video because there's like a lot of stuff to get through here. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you what I got in return for bankrupting myself. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So a bunch of these items I have already kind of used in my first impressions video that went up a couple of days ago. I think it was Sunday, not too sure. So you have already seen like a few of these items. I am going to be using another couple of them in other kind of testing videos and stuff. Okay, I'm going to start off with like the okay things first and I'm going to build myself up to like the amazing things that I got, like the really good bargains and stuff. So the first thing that I got was this model's own limp, lip gunk. It was $1.99 reduced from $7.99 and it is in the shade Fusion. So it just comes on like this little plastic bag. This reminds me so much of the, um, I can't even, OCC? Yeah, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Their lip gunks. So it comes in like this little plastic bag and then it comes with a lipstick brush that kind of like comes apart. How cute. And then it comes with the actual lip gloss. I got this purple shade, Fusion 06. And then it also comes with a little mixing tray, so it's kind of sanitary as well, which I love. And I did also have a pink one of these in my basket, but I was kind of trying to not spend £100, so I had to put it back. Oopsie. But now I'm kind of wishing I did just spend £100, because I missed everything else that I had in my basket. Sad face. Okay, and the next thing that I got was this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream Trio. These are in the shades... Copenhagen, Budapest and Moscow. I'm wearing Budapest at the minute. Um, I just put it on because I felt like my makeup was way too natural to film a sit down video. So I just put this on to kind of make my look a wee bit more interesting. Yeah, these were $6.99 reduced from $14.90. I don't have any NYX lipsticks, so I thought that I just had to get these. And also I love that Moscow is like a dark blue color. But yeah, that, that's basically that. Okay, and lastly from NYX, I got this hashtag glitter goals set so it comes with the gl NYX glitter glue and then it also comes with three different glitters so it's got like the original you know holographic silver glitter here in the shade crystal and then it comes with two new shades called emerald and black noir I think I did that in the right order but yes this was $7.99 reduced from $17.90 my aunt actually picked this out for me I love it like I just I love glitter so much and I love holographic glitter so I was like yes I need that put that in the basket okay the next thing I I got was a complete impulse buy. It was this lipstick queen lipstick in the shade Saint, I want to say. Yeah, Saint Scarlet Red. And this was only five pounds. And I remember like I always look at lipstick queen products whenever I am, you know, going through the duty free airports and stuff. And I've never been able to afford them. So I know that that was a bit of a bargain. But yeah, it's basically like this cute little gold lipstick with lipstick queen in purple there. And then it's just this really bright, vibrant red. Yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have that in my collection because I've never really had any lipstick queen stuff. It was a complete impulse buy. Like, I can't even speak much about this because I literally just saw it and put it in my basket because it was a fiver. <laughs> what a healthy habit to have. Okay, the next bunch of items are all from Illamasqua because that was like the main thing that my TK Maxx had going for them and I was going to get like, they had loads of the lashes in all for just £6 which is really good for Illamasqua but I just couldn't bring myself to like justify spending £6 on a pair of eyelashes. So I did get a bunch of other stuff <laughs> here. I treated lashes for like Mm. So the first thing I got from Illamasqua was an Illamasqua Gleam Highlighter. This one is in the shade Aurora and it was £10 reduced from £25. This again was another kind of impulse buy. It was between this and a really nice gold foil eyeshadow and I think I should have got the gold foil eyeshadow because this is a cream product. Like, 
it's great. I don't like the consistency of it, but I did use this in a recent testing video, which I will put up in the cards for you to see. Um, it does look nice on the skin, I'll give it that, but I just, I don't know if I like the consistency of it. I'm really weird about squishy things, and the consistency is like too thick and squishy for me. So that's it, but it's a nice shade. Um, it does look pink in the pan, but once you put it on your skin, it is gold. But yeah, that's basically it. Okay, the next two things I got, I'm actually quite excited about. They are the Illamasqua Precision Brow Gel. These were both $6.99, reduced from $18.50, and I did do some maths and discovered that they're actually cheaper in the long run than the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. Like, they literally have like triple the product. If I open it up like that, Anastasia Beverly Hills one like barely comes like halfway to that. This one is in the shade Awe, and it's basically like this pale blonde shade, and then the other one is in the shade Strike, and it is basically this darker brown shade. So yeah, that's basically them. I do really like the consistency of them and I think I did put them in another testing video as well if you well, in the same testing video if you want to like click in the cards and watch it. And then the last two things I got from Illamasqua, one was $2.99 reduced from eight pounds and that was the Illamasqua mascara. I literally just got this as like a fresh clean sanitized mascara to use on clients. And the last thing I got from Illamasqua, I, I basically just got this because I sounded cool. I've never heard of it before don't know if it actually is good. I'm gonna make a little testing video on it though, so keep an eye out. This Illamasqua Seating Gel. It was originally £12 and I got it for £4.99. I honestly don't know anything. It basically says this gel instantly transforms any powder into a water-resistant liquid eyeliner combined with any powder eyeshadow, pure pigment or eyeliner cake to create a color intense paste that dries quickly and lasts for hours. So, I was thinking, I've got a few neon pigments, so I was thinking of like using this to see if I can make like neon gel, neon liner. And um, it basically just comes in this little small bottle. You don't get much in there for £12, but I thought that it was, uh, I thought it was good for like a video. <laughs> and if it does like work, then that's going to make some for some really cool looks on Instagram. So yeah, keep an eye out on my channel for a little video testing that. So that was everything from Illamasqua, and now I'm gonna go on to the main bargains that I got from TK Maxx. So these two I got, and they were originally 36 pounds, and I got them for five pounds. And they are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. What? <laughs> How did I get these for five pounds when they were originally 36? And they're in really good condition as well, like not tampered with. I got them in two shades. I got an N40 and an N35, just because I didn't really know which one I wanted. Um, I did use N35 in my testing video. Um, N40 is a bit darker. I mean, this one was already too deep for my skin tone, so these are gonna be really nice for like kind of medium skin tones and stuff. I think it'd be really good to use these on clients because it is a wee bit more luxurious. But I do really love the finish of these um, and I love the formulation of them as well. So I would definitely like recommend, like if you have a TK Maxx near you, get your hands on these. I just, I couldn't pass it up. Like the lady at the till whenever I had the whole like hundred pound ring up, um, she was like, oh, you should just get rid of one of the shades of your foundation. Like you do have two of those foundations. And I was like, no. <laughs> No, I can get rid of the model zone stuff, but I can't get rid of something like with that much of a bargain. Like, no honey, I'm fine. Okay, and the last thing I got was the Cover FX Contour Kit. This was originally £40 and I got it for five. What? So basically it comes out of the sleeve and it looks like this. It's so cute. And I have used this a few times. This one is in the shade light medium. It's just this little highlight and contour palette, which is really cute. So it's got a little highlighter here called Moonlight. It's got a bright, like a concealer that is P10, and then two darker concealers which are in the shades P50 and P70. I honestly like love this so much. It isn't a good concealer for like using as a base for your eyes, but this and this power duo, like a complete power duo, your base will be bomb. Like I didn't want to take my makeup off. I just felt so good about my skin, even if it didn't match the rest of my body but with a tan like that is gonna be stunning but yeah that is it like as I said I did get a lot of stuff from TK Maxx and all of that for 60 pounds I just find incredible like considering these alone have added up to nearly 80 pounds so the fact I got all of this for 60 pounds is just 
my mind's blown. My mind is completely blown. But yeah, that is pretty much it for me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my little haul. Let me know down below what your favorite product was and also let me know if you've ever gotten a really good bargain from TK Maxx, like what was your best bargain? Mine has definitely to date been the Cover FX Contour Kit. Like I literally got 35 pounds off a product. Like how does that even happen? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if there's anything else that you want to see from me. And yeah, hopefully I get to see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye guys.